How are we doing, guys? Welcome to the preview and the predicted lineup. Arsenal against Leicester City. And listen, it's very, very simple. This is a game we have to win. Pick up the three points. I don't want any excuses. There can't be any slip-ups. Nothing. Because if you remember last season, when we played at home to West Ham or at home to Fulham, etc., those are the games we dropped points. And ultimately, those are the points we look back on that cost us the Premier League title. We've had a tough week. We all know that. We've all spoken about it. We've all talked about how we've gone to Aston Villa. We've gone to Spurs. We then had a Champions League game sandwiched in between Spurs and Man City. Down to 10 men at Manchester City. And we come out of all of those games unscathed. You know, if anything, we're disappointed with the Man City one because they equalised in the 98th minute. But we beat Spurs. We beat Aston Villa. Didn't even concede a goal. Went to Italy for a very difficult um, away tie in the Champions League against last season's Europa League winners. Didn't concede a goal. And um, all of that without Martin Odegaard as well. And everyone, when that injury happened, said that we would crumble and this, that, the other. And, you know, we went to Spurs without Declan Rice as well. And um, we've done the business. And then we go into this kind of game against Leicester, who haven't even won a game this season. And I know it's only been five games, but they've not won a game. Um, there's some pressure on the manager, Steve Cooper. When you look at their Carabao Cup tie, um, you know, during the week, there was a, a few unhappy voices, shall we say, um, even though they progressed on penalties. Um, but yeah, I think it's a little bit too early to be getting after the manager. And I don't know the whole ins and outs of what's actually going on at Leicester. But at the end of the day, for me, it's just too early at the moment. It's five games and they've drawn three of those games. They've not like lost all five um, and they're not even sitting in the relegation zone. They just want to get that first win in the Premier League. But um, what I would say is, is that, you know, when you look at the games and the results, they had a big one against Spurs um, right at the start of the season. But the reality is, is that, you know, that game there, they should have lost that as well. By half time, Spurs should have been out of sight. They absolutely annihilated them. Um, so that's a game that you look at and think, OK, they kind of have to take the positives from that and go, yeah, we'll take the point um, in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, when you look at the rest of their games and the ones that they've been playing and Fulham and Crystal Palace and those are the kind of games where they would think, OK, maybe we'll get something out of it. Um, that might be a bit of a stretch, um, given the fact that they are say, new to the Premier League again after their relegation and whatnot. Um, it's one of those ones, isn't it? At the end of the day, they want to get that first win. Obviously, not this game. You're not getting the win for this game. Um, and listen, th these are the games we can't slip up in. We have to just go and get three points. We have to be ruthless. And it'd be nice if we could put a bit of a performance in and um, maybe shut up some of the... Uh, so-called experts, the pundits, Fergie's disciples and the way that we've been absolutely piled on in this last week is just absolutely staggering. We must be the only team that could go away from home to Aston Villa or away from home against Spurs, away from home in the Champions League against last season's Europa League winners and away to Manchester City all in the first five Premier League games. Don't lose any. Keep a clean sheet in two of those. Well, three of them if you include the Champions League one. And still get criticised. Really? Give your heads a wobble. You know, I've got people like Gary Neville, Roy Keane, talking about our performance. End of the day, Roy Keane, yeah? He's on Sky for sound bites. That's all he's there for. For his little comments and his little... Thing where they've, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll clip that bit up there because he sounds like, oh, it's your job, it's your job. And this whole oh, shut up. I ain't ever heard anything insightful, tactical or knowledgeable come out of Roy Keane's mouth. Ever. Ever. Gary Neville. Do we need to talk about Gary Neville and 
managerial advice. This is the same man when he was Valencia manager. They went down to 10 men on the stroke of half time and they lost the game 7 0, conceding four in the second half whilst down to 10 men. And you want to tell Mikel Arteta how he should set up for the second half against Man City when we're winning 2 1. Mm. Jamie Carragher's another. I've seen Graham Souness doing it as well. Why is it all these teams or people associated with teams from the North East? Um, not the North East, sorry. Excuse me, the North West. Um, Manchester and Liverpool, etc. Don't like it, do you? Clowns. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice if we can, you know, shut them up a little bit. Good performance, few goals. Um, and like I said, at the end of the day, if you want to win Premier League titles, these are the games at home that you have to win. It's as simple as that. No excuses. A nice 3pm kickoff on a Saturday uh, when you're looking at the team lineup and everything else as well. Um, question mark over David Rea, but I do feel he will be fit for this game. Um, if he's not, then I'll tell you something, all of those pundits I was just mentioning that were criticising David Rea when he was going down and saying he was time-wasting, it's the dark arts and everything else. Hang your heads, because if he's actually injured, what a bunch of dickheads you will look. Um, but yeah, there's um, some good news with the likes of Timbar and Ben White um, back in full training. Mikel Moreno back in full training. Um, Mikel Arteta said not for this game, but probably, ne you know, next week. Big news that, especially with Odegaard missing. So that's a big one, getting him back. Tommy Asu in partial training as well. Um, so it's looking a lot healthier, shall we say. And um, yeah, I feel we'll go with a strong lineup. Listen, we wouldn't know we'll go with a strong lineup, but I feel that it's not all as doom and gloom as some may feel. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's go and get into the starting 11. Starting off in goal, David Ra. I do feel he will start this game, but if he doesn't, then listen, we've got a very able deputy um, that could come in and, and replace him for the game. Um, but yeah, I feel that David Rao will be fit for this game. Uh, right back, I'm going to go with Jurian Timbar. I feel he will get the nod ahead of um, Ben White in that right back position. Um, right centre back, William Saliba. Very, very straightforward. Had a nice rest on Wednesday against Bolton. Left centre back, Gabriel. Um, again, these are two players that don't even need to debate whether they're playing. They're the best centre-back pairing in the Premier League. It's as simple as that. Um, but yeah, played some minutes against Bolton. A little surprised at that, but is what it is. Uh, Left-back will be Calafiori. Um, I'm really liking the look of this guy. Um, and he can really make that left-back position his own. And uh, because he didn't get a lot of minutes at the very beginning of the season... Um, no issues at all with him, you know, playing on Wednesday night and then, you know, to this game and everything else. No drama. He plays. Uh, moving into the midfield, Thomas Partey. Very, very straightforward one as well. Um, another player um, that will be fresh and ready to go. Um, on the right-hand side, Bakayo Saka um, played it against Bolton. I don't think it was that much of a surprise, if I'm being honest given the fact he was the one sacrificed after 45 minutes against Manchester City. Um, and he will start this game. Um, alongside him in that kind of number 10 role will be Trossard, um, back from suspension. Uh, for all of you that don't know, his suspension was the game against Bolton. Um, so it actually fell quite nicely. Um, I know some people will say when Yeri after his performance the other night, but I just can't see Mikel, you know, Arteta doing that. So... Um, Trossard it is uh, next to him Declan Rice um, again a player that played um, you know on Wednesday but I'm not worried about that he's that kind of player um, and he did miss the Spurs game because of suspension so yeah I think it's uh, a straightforward one um, on the left hand side Martinelli I thought he had a really good performance against Manchester City Sterling had a really good you know performance on Wednesday night Um and, you know, listening to Mikel Arteta, he's close. He's getting there and he's starting to really adapt and learn to the way that we need to play. A um, couple of little tweaks, um, maybe defensively and offensively, but his off-the-ball work 
and the way that he can move and open and create space is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, for this one, Martinelli will start for me. And then up front as the main striker, Kai Havertz. Again, a very straightforward one. Um, Gabriel Jesus is not producing at the moment. Um, and Kai Havertz, I feel, is our number nine. It's as simple as that. So, um, yeah, very straightforward. A very, very strong lineup, like I said. Um, and listen, we just got to come and get the three points. If at the end of the day we win 1 0, I take it. It's the three points. It is what it is. Um, and that's the most important thing. Um, but if we can go and get ourselves three, four, five goals, um, another clean sheet, put in a really good performance, and yeah then it shuts a few people up at the same time and just creeps our goal difference up a little bit more. So these are those kind of games, you know, we were very good at, um, in particular away from home last season when we started absolutely annihilating teams and scoring fives and sixes. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to get going again, but uh, we'll wait and see. So listen, uh, let me know in the comment section whether you agree or disagree with the lineup. If you disagree, let me know what you disagree with. Um, big game. Need the three points. It's as simple as that. We get some goals. I'll be happy even more. Um, but let's just go and get the three points. Um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Smash a like on this video. And I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.